Okay, we're back. This is part four of my um, Flash CS4 bones tutorial. We have successfully put in some bones, um, and uh, if you go, if I go up to my arrow tool, and I move these, you can see that we're things are working pretty good. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, so I'm just going to hit undo to get back to where I was. Okay, there we go. I was just hitting uh, Command Z a bunch of times. So now I'm going to link up the rest of his arms. So I'm going to scroll over a little here and uh, go back to my bones tool just by hitting the X on the keyboard. And I'm going to drag. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to drop down to where I want the next pivot point to be. And then I'm going to drag again down to his wrist. And I want all of these to pivot so I don't have to freeze them like I froze this joint and I froze this joint. Um, or maybe it was this one, I can't remember. But um, if I move these now, we get all kinds of cool stuff going on. Woo! It's uh, very cool. So undo. going to go over to the other arm now. Um, hit X on my keyboard to get back to the bone tool. Drag. It's starting to get pretty easy. The hardest part's done, the fro freezing the part. The neck's going to be a pain too, but the legs and arms are easy. So um, we've got all the arms in now. Um, so let's uh, let's kind of move up to the neck area. Getting brave here. This uh, this is going to be kind of a pain, and I actually need to think this through a little. I'm going to go back to my arrow tool. I have this non-pivoting point, and I want this to be, I think, I'm just trying to think here if I need this point or not. I don't. I don't need this point because I can just use the, the head. Let's just try this. I might be wrong, and I can always undo back. So I'm going to go to the bone tool click on an area that has some bones and I'm going to drag up to his head and again your head pivots right at the base of your the back of your skull so I dragged and sure enough it linked up so let me just um, go back to my arrow tool and just animate this and see okay yeah that's right I don't need that extra pivot point in there that I thought I needed so now if I zoom out and I go and I just drag this we've got this cool kind of puppet going here. I'm pretty excited. Not only that, but um, I inside his head, I can't remember if I showed this in the earlier version, um, if you double click into his head, I have a number of states. I have his eyebrows and his eyelids and a, his closed mouth. I'm just going to run this so you can see how this works. Um, I'm going to hit save and then control enter and I'm going to zoom in. You can right click on flash and zoom in quite a ways so you can see it. But he's actually, characters are so much more real if you do just a few simple things. Have his eyes blink, have his eyebrows go up and down just a little. You know, he can't smile for too long. He's got to get saliva back on his teeth again so he closes his lips for a minute and you'll see that. He tilts his head left and right just a little. This creates an amazing amount of reality in an animated character. Just these funny little things. And all they are is timeline animations that just kind of play at, at different lengths. So that's just a kind of a tip on animating. It just gives a, a high sense of reality if you just do that one little thing. So I'm going to um, double click back out until I'm to my character. Okay, I'm back to where my bones are. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach the... Uh, the hips, see how far we can get here. So I gotta go hit X on my keyboard to go back to the bone tool. And I'm just gonna drag down to this pivot point. And I may not need this pivot point either. Okay. Now something bad happened. Why did the skeleton go away? And why did my uh, cell phone's gonna make my speakers buzz. Gotta move it. Um, why did this happen? What happened to my skeleton when I dragged? Well, here's the problem. Um, this movie clip was in front of all this up here. So where, when, whatever you drag from, because of the layering, Flash thought I was starting a new skeleton here, and so it created a new skeleton. 
So I need to undo that and see if I can remedy that. So I'm going to go back and click in an area so I can get the skeleton back. How, how come I can't drag from here to here? Let me just try it again. Nope, it still isn't working. So this, this dang uh, leg here is in the way. So what I'm going to do is just go up to my layers palette and I have the body parts. They're still on the layer above armature 3, so I'm going to drag those down and see if that helps. So now the armature is on the top. So now I'm going to click again, I'm going to drag, hopefully this will work. Okay, it worked. So these leg graphics were in the way of me um, clicking on what I needed to click on. Now, this right here isn't pivoting, which means this won't pivot, which means um, I need to attach the two legs, the ball and socket. I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's about where the ball and socket joint is, I would think. And uh, now one thing about my um, character here is I have, for his two legs, you can see how I have something in the way here. So he, when his legs spread, that looks right. Um, so what I need to do to attach this other leg, I'm going to have trouble because I'm going to drag and it's going to click on this other part here. So what I need to do is I need to bring the body layer back to the, let's see, how am I going to do this? This is a pain. Um, I'll think about it and start the next tutorial um, with that.